This week in the House of Representatives, members will be voting on three bills, one resolution, and one concurrent resolution. The bills being voted on this week are the NDO Fairness Act, Police Act of 2023, and the Federal Law Enforcement Officer Service Weapon Purchase Act. The resolution being voted on this week is memorializing law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. The concurrent resolution is expressing support for local law enforcement officers and condemning efforts to defund and dismantle local law enforcement agencies. Make sure you stick around to find out what bills were passed last week and whether the House of Rep- Representatives will be voting on more bills next week. One bill on the House of Representatives agenda this week is the Police Act of 2023, or the Protect Our Law Enforcement with Immigration Control and Enforcement Act of 2023. It was introduced by Representative Andrew Garbarino from New York's 2nd District. The bill aims to make the assault of a law enforcement officer a deportable offense. The bill simply states, any alien who assaults a law enforcement officer is deportable. In a press release, Representative Chris Smith said the Biden administration is putting our law enforcement officers in every American citizen at risk by failing to secure a border and allowing millions of illegal immigrants, smugglers, and convicted felons and suspected terrorists to sneak into communities across our country in the dead of night. I'm proud to join my colleagues in introducing legislation that holds violent illegal immigrants accountable by requiring that the Immigration and Nationality Act specifically state that assaulting a law enforcement officer is a deportable offense. Like this video if you think this is a good bill or comment what your concerns are with it. Another bill on the House of Representatives agenda is the Federal Law Enforcement Officer Service Weapons Purchase Act. The act was introduced by Representative Russell Fry from South Carolina's 7th District. The purpose of the bill is to allow federal law enforcement officers to purchase retired service weapons and for other purposes. According to the Congressional Research Service, the bill directs the General Services Administration to establish a program under which a federal law enforcement officer may purchase a retired handgun from the agency that issued the handgun to the officer. The bill states that the purchase must be made during the six-month period beginning on the date the handgun was so retired retired and a handgun purchased under this section shall be sold at the fair market value for such handgun taking into account the age and condition of the handgun. Comment your thoughts on this bill. A third bill being voted on this week in the House of Representatives is the bipartisan NDO Fairness Act. It was introduced by Representative Scott Fitzgerald from Wisconsin's 5th District and co-sponsored by Representative Jerry Nadler from New York's 12th District. The purpose of the bill is to amend Title 18 United States Code to modify delayed notice requirements and for other purposes. According to the Congressional Research Service, this bill makes various changes to the procedures and requirements with respect to delayed notification orders. Current law authorizes the government to compel providers of electronic communication services or remote computing services to disclose certain records and information pertaining to subscribers and customers. Further, a provider may notify subscribers or customers of the government's request for records and information unless the government obtains a delayed notice order. With respect to delayed notification orders, the bill raises the standard for courts to grant a delayed delayed notification order requires courts to issue delayed notification orders only after issuing a written determination based on specific facts, requires orders to be narrowly tailored, and shortens the duration of delayed notification orders. Finally, the bill requires the Department of Justice to report annually on data related to delayed notification orders, including the number of customers targeted, the numbers of applications for orders, the number of orders granted, extended, or denied, and the number of orders targeting members of the media or conduct related to certain protected activities. Representative Fitzgerald states, the federal government has abused its authority to access the personal data of individuals under investigation. Unfortunately, those under investigation are neither informed of the search nor given a remedy to defend themselves and their data privacy rights. This legislation would bolster privacy protections to be comparable to those in physical office or workplace while providing a much-needed check on the federal government's surveillance authorities. It should be noted that this bill passed the House of Representatives in June of 2022 but did not make it out of the Senate. The resolution being voted on this week is a resolution memorializing law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. It is a resolution expressing support for recognizing National Police Week. In 1962, President John Fitzgerald Kennedy signed Public Law 87-726, which authorizes the President to proclaim May 15th of every year as Peace Officers Memorial Day, in honor of the federal, state, and local officers who have been killed, disabled, or otherwise injured in the line of duty. The joint resolution also authorizes the President to designate the week in which peace officers Memorial Day falls as National Police Week. The resolution also goes on to honor the 556 law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty in 2023. The link to the bill and names of the officers killed in the line of duty can be found in the description below. Expressing support for local law enforcement officers and condemning efforts to defund or dismantle local law enforcement agencies is a concurrent resolution being voted on this week in the House of Representatives. The resolution reads as follows. Congress recognizes and appreciates the dedication and devotion demonstrated by men and women 
Department of Local Law Enforcement who keep our community safe and condemns calls to defund, disband, dismantle, or abolish the police. The resolution also states, In the summer of 2020, looting, rioting, and violence in major cities caused the destruction of many shops, restaurants, and businesses. In 2020, the United States tallied more than 21,000 murders, the highest total since 1995, and 4,900 more than in 2019. The defund the police movement vilifies and demonizes local law enforcement officers and puts them at a greater risk of danger. Subscribe if you want to see this concurrent resolution passed. The bills passed last week, May 8th through May 14th, were the Advanced Weather Model Computing Development Act, Protecting Taxpayers and Victims of Unemployment Fraud Act, Secure the Border Act, and the Trank Research Act. Make sure you check out last week's video to learn more about these bills. And don't forget, all bills passed now move to the Senate. If you made it this far into the video, I thank you for sticking around and enjoying the content. Before you leave, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all bills being introduced and voted on in the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives will be in session next week, so I will be back here next Sunday informing you of more bills being voted on.